Welcome to Applied Bionomics. Today I want to talk to you about a theta coriaria. Uh, the name is probably going to change to Delosia coriaria, but our experience with uh, nomenclature and taxonomy is that it tends to uh, swing a bit, so we want to make sure it's uh, going to change and stay that way. This product was uh, developed by the University of Guelph and was introduced by Graham Murphy at Flower uh, in uh, Ontario with Omafra. It has become a very, very useful product. We still really don't know what it's fully capable of. Uh, it has surprised us on many occasions. It's called, the, it's, a, it's common name is the Rove Beetle. It looks like a gigantic thrip. It's a soft-bodied beetle, elongated. And I'll dump it out here in a second to show you what it looks like. When we first started using it, we really didn't know how to apply it. So we just started throwing it into greenhouses to see what it did or didn't do. Right now we've got trials for potworms and orchids because one of the things we know about this product is that it really loves loose uh, soil. Very coarse bark mulch is ideal for this. Uh, one of the first trials we did here in British Columbia was just down the road at a nursery uh, where we put them into bark mulch uh, Christmas trees that were being grown in culture in pots and uh, they exploded. The population was amazing. All of the root pests, all of the, even the flowering, even the foliage pests were disappearing very rapidly. It's very difficult to, to scout in a crop. Uh, it has a couple of things though that make it a little bit easy to scout. One is that it has a sine wave type flight. So when you see it flying, it'll flap its wings for a while, glide, flap, glide. So you end up with that. So once you've tuned your eyes into the size of this product, you can actually see them. I've been amazed by where I've seen them. I've seen them at the top of dying pepper plants eating spider mites at about 40 degrees uh, Celsius. I've seen them in the sewer system and actually one of the first and one of the biggest applications that we still use is we actually dump these down the drains. Uh, these uh, will lo love wet conditions when the, when the conditions are too wet for everything else including stratiolalaps or the old hypoaspis or geolalaps, this product is virtually aquatic. And one of the uh, most successful applications, as I was alluding to, was, was down the drains. It actually goes down the drains, dumping them down the drains. They go onto the blue-green algae mats. They feed on the shore flies, and they completely eliminate the shore flies. So we have a lot of propagation areas where these people are buying them probably about once every three months, maybe four months, and dumping a tube literally down the drain. And it completely controls your, your shore flies. Um, as far as thrip control, it's shown excellent promise. It, uh, we haven't had any exposure with aphid control, but I'm sure in a cage, in a starving situation, they would probably do that as well. I'll just dump them on here to give you an idea of what they look like. So you can see how quickly they move. Very aggressive. They're always hungry. These guys are always feeding. Uh, we, uh, our competitors tend to sell a lot of these all, all the time. Our experience is that they tend to stay with the structure. Uh, when we put these in a greenhouse, even if you're moving plants in and out, they tend to stay in the greenhouse rather than move out with the plants, which suggests that they tend to live in your sewer system even though they might be feeding actively on your plants during the daytime. So you can see how easy it is to spot. Once you've put it in your greenhouse, though, you're not going to see this. They're going to be a very, very low density. They're going to be spreading as fast as they can because they're always hungry. They're always in a voracious state. So we have yet to fully fathom the depths of what this product can do, but it's an amazing product, and it's certainly worth a try. And I think every greenhouse should have a little bit put in maybe every three or four months.